guys, Lois Emmy here. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So we are here at Harry Potter. Very exciting. So it's in Watford. It's literally, it's not actually that far from central London. The longest part of the journey was us driving through central London. But once we're on the motorway, on the M1, it's like 20 minutes. Um, so yeah, I'm going to film as much as I can today. Please stay tuned. I hope you enjoy. Speak to you soon. Ooh. Thank you, Lois. That's all right. Thank you, thank you Lois. Thank you. Wow, thank you. Thank you very much. Bye bye. <laughs> Everyone say hello. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. <laughs> okay, so we made it in. First of all, the first part is basically, it's like a cinema, so it's a cinema room with a big screen. Um, and it's explaining all about the film, the set, how it was made, etc. And it shows the three main characters obviously talking to the screen, which is quite cute. Um, they were there for 10 years, I can't believe that. And then uh, the screen comes up. And you walk through into the Great Hall, which is quite cool. So it shows a lot of the set and the costumes and the characters. Some of my personal favourite details include the murals that are on the front and back walls. Now they were hand painted by our senior artists, but left to age under the studio lights, giving them the appearance that they're thousands of years old. You also have a notice that we have our wonderful Halloween feast laid out, and the rest of the library. And then the bit we're in now is almost like a museum, so it's like a walk through. You can take pictures. It shows more of the set more costumes, hair and makeup, you can read up a lot about the stuff. Um, and then the next part is quite cool, so stay tuned. Oh, how cute.
Oh, this is cute, this little stand here. And I'll show you some of the things that they sell. Every flavor beans. I remember chocolate frogs. Peppermint toads. Exploding bonbons, all from the film. Gonna get a wand. Which one do you 
So we just finished the tour, that was actually amazing, it's really, really cool. I'd say it's more suited for the older child, younger children probably wouldn't really appreciate it, or any adult like me, <laughs> tried to be. Um, I'd say it does ruin the magic a little bit, um, for children especially, because obviously they're thinking that it's real, and obviously when they come here it's everything about the set and it's quite obvious that it's not real. So that's the only downside I'd say. So we went into one room and it was basically the Hogwarts Express and the platform. That was quite cool and you could pose for different pictures. There was also this little bit where you could go onto the train itself and have a little look at the different sets. And then there was another bit where you could sit onto the train and like have pictures taken. And then there was a video as well which you react to different things like outside the window there was a flying car, there was something else. Everything is kind of geared up for making money so you can buy the pictures, you can buy the videos. There was another bit which was quite cool, so you sit on the actual broomsticks. Again, you can either pose for pictures or videos, but it was quite funny actually. So they get you doing different actions, like as you're going over the water, you spray the water up or you cheer as you're going over the finale. Like it was quite cool, it was quite funny to watch some people doing it. Um, the end was quite cool. So you see the whole set of Hogwarts itself. So um, obviously that wasn't real. And they would have used cameras in the round to film the whole thing. And then it would have been a green screen as well. So I filmed a little bit of that so you can see how they inputted the actual characters onto the set of Hogwarts to make it look like it's actually real and they were actually there. So they have a little cafe like halfway through in the middle and we got a butter beer that was actually really nice. I'm not sure what it was, I think it was like toffee ice cream and ginger ale but it was really nice, really sweet. It reminded me of like an ice cream float, I don't know if anyone ever used to try those when they were little. Um, and then you go through to the house um, and the night bus, I mean they could have done a bit more with the night bus I think, um, no one was actually allowed on it um, and the house you literally just walk through, it would have been nice to go up and down. But that was quite cool and then they show a lot of like the visual effects how they made different things and um, like with all the different creatures and the um, different effects that was quite cool to go through oh diagon alley that was really cool so you literally go straight through it's like you're actually there and there's all the different shops side by side i really enjoyed that bit that you could like buy wands and different things you couldn't actually go into the shop which i thought was a bit of a shame would have been nice if you could have gone in and they could have even had like actors in there just my little input things how to improve um, but yeah, no, that was really cool.